Well, how nice is it to get on the court and kind of play somebody else and quit you know, inner squad scrimmage? I mean, it's so much fun. Um, obviously, at this point, we all know our own plays and our practice players know our plays, so to play someone else, always super exciting. But uh, it was a great game and a great start for us. Yeah, what, what did you see you guys did good? What did you work on? Uh, I think just defensively, there's a couple things we can clean up uh, in terms of uh, keeping people in front of us and those kind of things. But I think we played a really good game on the offensive end. We got out in transition and ran, and uh, that was something that was really good for us. And you got a lot of young girls coming in. You got a lot of good times. So what do you see from this? Yeah, they did great. I mean, to come into this uh, atmosphere for the first time is always super exciting. But uh, our young guys came in, they stepped up, and they, they did a really good job. Do you think you guys are faster than last year? You looked at it. looked very fast, the huh? five looked really fast. Yeah, um, we do have a lot of speed, and it comes in really handy. I mean, with Gabs running the floor and our bigs and their ability to run the floor, it makes a, for a whole lot of trouble for the defense. Jake was talking about how there's no way to really figure out how the leadership sort of gets you know, disseminated mm -hmm. with everybody. It's going to have to sort of happen naturally. What's, what's your perspective on that? Absolutely. I think you can't force leadership on people and you can't force it uh, them to want to be a leader. And I think what happens is the upperclassmen all step up kind of together and then we all develop our own leadership traits that we have to figure out how to work together and ensure that that is a collective whole every single practice and that's a presence that all the younger guys hear every day. How much are you new enjoying the, sort of the, the new challenge, if you will, of this season? And, and you know, it, it is different, obviously. Absolutely. Uh, I think everybody knows that it's different. And for me, I'm a person who loves challenges and, and loves to be in that position where you're playing with a chip on your shoulder and those kind of things. And I think what we're doing a really good job of this year is just adapting. And it's a new team. Every, every year is a new team. There's new things that you have to learn, different learning curves. Uh, and we're doing a really good job right now of adapting to that. What do you think of the, the young Youngsters, what you've seen them so far. I think they're doing a really good job. It's a uh, transition is hard for everyone. Everyone has their own uh, experience with with it, and I think they're doing a great job of being engaged, trying to ask questions, making sure that when they don't know things, they kill behind someone who does. And they're working extremely hard, and that's what we need from them. Was it, was it just fun to get out there and compete yeah. after you know, a couple weeks of practice and compete against them? So it looked like we were having fun. Yeah, absolutely. It was fun. It was good to have our fans back, for sure. Uh, it was good to play against someone other than our practice squad and each other. And, um, yeah, you know, we just tried to have fun with it tonight. And it, it's cool when everything you practice translates so well onto the floor. Did you feel like that? Did you feel like it was all translating? Yeah, I think I think we definitely worked on the things that we wanted to work on, but we also saw, okay, so this is why we do this stuff in practice, you know, so it'll definitely be um, a learning experience. Do you think you guys were faster than last year? Faster? You look. <laughs> well, we're, we're a lot smaller, so I guess in a sense, yeah, we're a little bit quicker. Obviously, a lot of new players, and even more so, a lot of uh, returning players that really kind of have to step up. Can you talk a little bit about like this team and meshing well? Do you really feel that's uh, something you're accomplishing out there? Um, yeah, I mean, for us returners, we're all in a position that we weren't in last year at all. Uh, and our new guys, obviously, they have a lot to learn too. So um, there's there's a huge learning curve this year, but I think um, we're playing together really well, and we're pretty cohesive and everything. So I think we're doing pretty well so far. What that style of play is going to fit you? Let's get up and we're going to be smaller, so we're going to have to push the pace and try to get out on the break. I mean, it seems to fit you to a T. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, the kind of team that we have this year, I think a lot of our offense, and Coach has said this too, we've all said it, a lot of our offense is going to have to come from defense, you know, if we want to be great. And, uh, you know, we are smaller, we are quicker, we're a little bit, um, I guess, more, like, pesty. <laughs> so uh, we try to work on that today. What about when you, you get your hands on a lot of those balls or always like, kind of set the tone for the rest of your team, try to try to be that energy person, have your team feed off of that? Yeah, uh, I think my offense will come, but on defense, I, I want to be this team's catalyst, you know. And uh, I think that's kind of the role that I'm kind of stepping into. Kind of like Mo had last year, she always got, she got me going, that's for sure, on defense. So I'm trying to get um, everyone's energy going on D. Is that something you wanted to do? Remember, we, we talked about that at media day and uh, before we mm -hmm. You didn't know coming off the bench last year, you brought a lot of energy. Now you're bringing in starters. Is that how you're trying to do it? Yeah, I think that's probably the best I can do for this team is setting the tone defensively um, just because of my athleticism. Um, and, you know, now I, I know a lot more than I have the last few years, so I can be a little bit smarter. Um, Kia, too, Lutu, Feast, too, Sanaya, you know, we can all set the tone on defense and then our offense will come.
maybe you yeah. asked this before, and I'm sorry, but mm -hmm. you know, you've played against your teammates, you play against your practice players the last three weeks. Maybe it's not the level of competition you're going to see from Florida State of Baylor, but what was it like to see different faces out there, people you didn't know to go against? Uh, it was just a lot of fun, honestly, because um, it does kind of get repetitive and stuff in practice, and you got to keep finding that motivation. But today, you know, we had the crowd to motivate us, and I think today also, since we were going against people who we hadn't seen before, we saw why we do the things that we do in practice. Like, okay, this is how it translates into a game. It's, it's a fast team. I mean, not the last year was it, but do you think speed's going to be a, a big factor for you guys this year? Um, yeah, I think uh, the biggest thing for us is being able to get stops and score in transition. That's what really we've been focusing on. Having our offense come through our defense because we lost three of the best scorers in the country and it's a little more challenging this year. So we know that we really have to just rely on our defense to pick up everything after that. Do you feel the guys are faster than last year? You guys are obviously smaller, but do you feel you're a little, that's a little faster you looked at? Um, I don't know if I, I definitely felt like we were pushing it as quick as we could down the court, but I don't know if I can compare it to the speed of last year. We had a lot of games where we were going up and down the court pretty fast, but um, I think it's been one of our main focuses this year to be able to get a stop and transition or get a stop in a quick bucket. We've been really working on that in practice, so it's nice to see it transition into the game a little bit, but we have a lot more games to play, and so we're going to have to consistently do that every day.